I'm your MSU Neighborhood Reporter Colin Jankowski. On Wednesday, it was announced that an international student at the University of Michigan allegedly voted illegally. With my neighborhood also being a college town, I wanted to speak to a legal expert about the issue and what safeguards are in place during the election process. It is not legal for non-citizens to vote nationwide. But the Michigan Secretary of State's office says it happened, and a 19-year-old international student at the University of Michigan has been charged after they say he lied about his citizenship. He uh, asserted that he was um, a citizen of the United States. That is what it says on the voter registration form. It requires that somebody certify that they are a citizen of the United States. And they are told that lying about that um, and providing false information about that is a crime. Quinn Yeargain, an associate professor with the MSU College of Law, tells me that it may seem easy for instances like the Ann Arbor case to happen, but it simply doesn't on a large scale. Instances like this, to say that they're rare, understates it dramatically. Um, these very, 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 very rarely happen. But why not? Your gain says the risk is not worth the reward. The payoff here is so minimal. Um, this is somebody who committed a very serious crime, is absolutely going to be prosecuted for it, is very possibly facing a, a very real risk of deportation, all to cast a single vote in the election that is not going to be dispositive at all. The risk of criminal prosecution is so high. And that risk is so high because of safeguards in place. Yergain says audits of voter rolls catch these instances and those responsible face the repercussions. And while the vote may count in instances like the Ann Arbor case, he says the rarity of these cases will not make a difference in the outcome. Even if the polls are right and this is a, a you know, a, a wire thin, you know, really down to the wire, a very thin margin, um, one vote is not going to tip the scales in this respect. Voter information and ID requirements can be found in our online voter guide on our website, fox47news.com. At Michigan State, I'm Colin Jankowski, Fox 47 News.